Hey there, everybody. It's Thorpian, and I'm back again to talk about what are the best ways to farm crops at the maximum possible speed. Now, notice that doesn't mean that you'll always get gold by using these strategies because a lot of that depends on your farming fortune. So without further ado, let's talk about how farming speed works. So some of you may have noticed that on my last video, there are a lot of comments about what speed to do a farm at, whether, you know, semi-AFK was better than flying and why or why not. And I want to go ahead and answer all those questions right now, forever and always, for all of Hypixel farming. So here is kind of the idea of how it works, right? So when you are breaking something, this is a nether word, ho, I think. I can't even tell. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... When you are breaking something, right, every second that you break something, there is kind of this ability of the hoe to swing. Now, once you hold down left click, it starts to swing faster and faster until you can't actually see it swinging. Well, that time you saw it swinging because that was that was an embarrassment. Anyway, um, so you, you will it'll start swinging faster and faster until you can't tell whether it's swinging or not. And that's kind of the idea of farming is you want to be able to hit the crop every single time it swings. So every time that it kind of resets and it's ready to swing, you want there to be a crop for it to hit. Now, this is why we have these max or minimum speeds that people are using in order to farm their farms. So the question becomes is, do you have to use those speeds in order to be the most efficient? Do you Can you fly and farm or do you have to do a walking semi-AFK farm with those speeds? And the answer is that you, you can farm any way you want. As long as you are hitting a crop every single time that that kind of swing is ready to be swung. Right, so that means that when you fly, you'll notice that we have a couple of leftover plants. That means that we were at the next plant already before the swing hit. So as long as you are traveling at a speed on any farm design that you choose, such that there are occasionally leftover crops, or you're able to time your speed to be exactly one below that, then you're fine. That means that you are farming at the maximum possible speed. Now, most of you are here in order to figure out what those maximum possible speeds are for different kinds of farms. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Um, notice you don't need to use this farm design. You don't need to use this kind of speed. You don't need to do any of this to be maximally efficient. But these speeds are going to be the ones for the semi-AFK farms that I showed you how to build in my last video that allow you to go as fast as possible while still maintaining the use of the maximum amount of farm blocks. So in other words, this these speeds are going to be what's going to allow you to maximize the efficiency of the space of your farm which is important if you're trying to go for infinite farms. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and tell you which farms are infinite and which ones you may need to build more than one of and how many you need to build. So let's go ahead and start with wheat, carrot, and potato on the garden. Now, these are going to be all the same. So I only tested carrot because they all grow at the exact same speed. And I've shown that a few different times in different ways. For these crops... The speed that you're going to want to set on your rancher's boots, if you don't have these, I highly recommend getting them in order to do these walking farms. Otherwise, just go for flying farms until you can do this, because again, you can still hit max breakage speed. You just might need to make your farms a little bigger. And to be honest, if you're not making semi-AFK farms, it's not that hard to make bigger farms. All right, so rancher's boots, the speed that you're going to want to set for these guys is going to be 115. Now, in this case, we're going to set our speed at 115. We're going to plop down, and we are going to travel at exactly 90 or 180 degrees. So we are going to make sure that our F3 is going to, sh or our uh, mod that shows our counter or pitch is going to be exactly 180. We're going to hold down left click, and we're never going to move our mouse again. Oh, I didn't actually put on the boots. And then you don't need to move the mouse and you're just going to go left, right. And you'll notice that this will leave exactly zero crops. Now, why 115? Well, let me tell you, because if you test this speed and you go up by one, oops. So I'm only going to show this for this particular 
one. So let's say we go up to 120. So what's going to happen is we're going to start seeing crops left behind. So there, you see it right there. There's one, there's another one, there's another one. This means that we can go a teensy bit slower in order to be able to break this. Now, in reality, um, the perfect efficiency might be like 120, 121, because it's not linear depending on like which crops you're breaking. Like for example, we increase speed by five, um, but we're only losing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight like one out of every 32 crops. So is five one thirty second faster? I don't know. I'm not gonna do that math, but the point is that 115 is gonna be the speed at which you are just under the point where you start to miss crops. So exactly one speed point under, which means that it is gonna be the most, or the fastest you can go while still breaking all the crops. And remember, if you're breaking all the crops just barely, then you're going as fast as is possible. You're doing exactly four swings in this case, every single block. So you're going as fast as you can, but you're also being as efficient as possible while going as fast as you can. And for carrot, potato, and wheat, you're only gonna need one of these units. So like one side of one farm, that's four long, top to bottom in the garden. Next up, let's talk about nether wart. Nether wart, same idea. You're going to set it to 115. You're going to go exactly 90 degrees or 180 degrees um, or zero degrees, depending on how your farm is set up. And you're just going to go left and then right. And for nether wart, unfortunately, for some reason, it looks like the garden, like, crop growth acceleration doesn't work or set at a much lower level. So for nether wart, you're gonna need at least two of these. Um, so I didn't actually time it out, but I did one and it wasn't even like close to done growing. So you're gonna need at least two full nether wart halves. Um, you may even need three. Now pumpkin, if you watch my last video, I actually may have told you guys wrong about where you stand when you farm this guy because you can't reach all three very well here. So you actually wanna stand on this crop guy here. We're gonna grab our pumpkin ax and we are gonna grab our boots and we're gonna set our speed, oops. We're gonna set our speed to 154. So 154 is exactly one under the speed where we start to leave things behind. And for this one, again, we're gonna set our um, yaw at, or our like direction at 180 or 90 or zero, whichever way this is facing in this manner so you can hit all three pumpkins. And you're gonna make sure to lean down about 30 degrees. Um, that's in the, the facing in the F3. So you'll notice that when we do it this way, we're gonna leave behind like one pumpkin every like 200, 300 pumpkins, maybe, if that. So again, we're hitting that maximum possible speed without losing out on the fact that we always have a crop every time that our uh, tool is ready to swing again. So that's the goal. We always want a crop when our tool is ready to swing. The maximum speed to do that for pumpkin is 154. Uh, if you have a three block farm, if you have a two block farm, it's gonna be different and you can test that speed. But if you look in the comments, I'm sure somebody will be kind enough to give a recommendation. For that, you'll also wanna go at 50 or 45 degree angle, which I'll show you how to do with sugarcane. Now this is also true for melon. So for melon, again, you're gonna turn at 90 degrees. You're gonna go for 154. And in case you're wondering how many farms you need, which is, I know, a really big question that people always have, for pumpkin, I've tested it, and one single unit up and down is good enough. It'll get you about 95% regrowth when you get back to the top. Yes, I farmed all of my farms top to bottom just to test it for you guys. Um, so for melon and pumpkin, 95% regrowth from top to bottom. One, I think, is pretty darn good enough. It's actually maybe more like 99%. Uh, for this one, I wouldn't recommend doing a second whole farm unless you really want to max out like perfect efficiency. And that's, of course, five plots long, guys. So five plots long, you need one unit. 
let's talk about sugarcane. Sugarcane is a little bit weird. So let's go ahead and grab our sugarcane hoe. Um, so we are going to go uh, to our boots. And for our boots, we're actually going to set this at 327. That's an awfully specific number, I know. But it, that's exactly the one that works. And for this one, it's going to be a little bit weird because we're actually going to walk into the wall and we're going to set our yaw, or we're going to set the direction we're facing to 45 or 135. Hold down left click and push A or whichever direction you need to push to go into the wall. And then when you drop down a level, you're going to push S or the backwards direction to walk the other way while still maintaining that 45 degrees. Again, this is going to be the max efficiency speed in order to be able to break a block every time it swings, but not to have more blocks than that um, in the farm. Now with these two unit farms that I have here, you get about 95%, 90 to 95% regrowth after a full farming session uh, with a five plot farm. So you may want a third one uh, if you want to be maximally efficient, but you can probably get away uh, with just two if you're only doing this like for contests or something, um, because I think a contest is going to be shorter than the time it takes to farm that whole thing. It might be wrong or it could be very close. So that's up to you. Uh, so next up we have the handy dandy coke or sorry cactus farm so cactus is super weird so for cactus you actually just want to hit whatever the maximum possible speed is um, in the case of hypixel it is 400 so we're going to set our boost to 400 if i actually was able to get that speed without um the rancher's boots on i i do that um, and i would just walk and for that you're gonna again turn 90 degrees If I can get it to 90, this is very hard for me, guys. Okay, and then left click and just go left and right all the way across and then back down the other way. And then you're going to teleport to the other side of the farm and keep going the same way. Now, for this one, you're going to need um, at least two times what we've got here. Honestly, probably more like three. So you're probably going to need to build three of these in order to have infinite cactus. Uh, it kind of sucks, I'm sorry, but that's how it is. Next up, we've got Coco. Coco, the speed that you want your boots at is 154 again. You're going to grab or your Coco Axe, which is here for me. We're going to pop in to our farm. We're going to stand kind of, I, I don't know if it makes a difference if you stand all the way to the edge, but I like to stand in the middle. So I'm like just breaking this guy, but not like that guy. Um, and we are going to set our speed to 154. And then we're going to look at 90 degrees for the first number, so the yaw. And for this, you actually have to open F3, and you want to go about 50 degrees. So you want to be facing upwards at an angle like this. It doesn't have to be as exact as the, um, the first number, so the yaw number. For those of you that you know sailed boats or whatever the heck that's from and you're just going to left click go forward and you'll see we're going to break every block if we were to increase the speed even by one we would start not breaking every block which is how we know we're at the maximum possible speed so uh for coco you're going to be able to get about 95 percent of the way with two farms so that would be like this one and then this one i built two extra just just in case but you don't actually need those you get about 95 percent with these two uh, maybe even more than 95 percent so again if you want to be perfect perfect you're going to need a third otherwise you are set and that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video please remember to like subscribe and leave a comment below if you disagree thank you and bye